Hey everybody, guess who just graduated from college? Ooh. Okay, that was really, really dorky. But in all seriousness, I just graduated from college. Like, how freaking exciting is that? Four and a half years of hard work and dedication, and I am finally done. I'm done. No more school, no more homework, no more going to classes, no more staying up late, writing papers, nothing. I am done. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't, know what to, I don't even know what to do with myself, honestly. It's like, you go up, you go up, you go up, you go up, you go up to this point, and then you've, you're done. There's nothing else. So... I don't know, it's almost anticlimactic in the way, because I just like have been pushing myself so freaking hard for the past 20 or so years with school. Okay, maybe more like 18. But yeah, it's it's so crazy that I'm done. Now it's like I'm officially an adult, even though I've been 18 for four years now. All in all, I'm glad to be done. Uh, you know, this past quarter especially towards the end, I was really burnt out um, with school and work and things that I didn't think really mattered. But, you know, I'm glad I'm done so that now I can move on with that part of my life and just, you know, put it behind me and, you know, move on to something else. This is the perfect opportunity to pursue new things, try new things, you know, take some chances and do what I've always wanted to do, whether that's travel or meet new people or try weird jobs or whatever, um, this is the chance to do it. So, you know, I've been researching a lot and I am hoping to apply to a whole bunch of um, internships at zoos and wildlife refuges and um, just a whole bunch of places involving like animals, re rehabilitation centers, um, research centers, things like that. Um, there's probably a good dozen or so, so I'm hoping to apply to those in the coming month or two and then um, send them all out and hopefully I'll hear back from somebody in early spring and I'll be going somewhere else for summer and fall and moving on to bigger and better things so who knows maybe in six months from now I will be in Chicago or Columbus Ohio or Hawaii lay question mark so it'll be good the real world is very scary and not a very good place right now, but, you know, I'm optimistic for once in my life that I will actually figure out what I want to do. It took me a good four years and, you know, I'm actually pursuing something that might actually work. So, it'll be good times. Can I just say that Caps are the most awkward things in all existence, possibly. Like, they're like swim caps, but they don't fit well in your head. Like, and it's like, I'm a cone head, but it's like round and then flat, but doesn't fit perfectly flat. I don't know, or maybe it's just my head. <sighs> but it doesn't work for me. Thankfully, I never have to wear it ever again. And the only reason I'm wearing it right now is because I want to show you all how cool I am for graduating. So a little bit more about yesterday. Um, so the official ceremony was yesterday on Saturday. And my parents came up on Friday and from Southern California, and so did a lot of my dad's family, which is really cool because, you know, they had to fly all the way up here. And, you know, I really appreciated that. Um, so they all watched me graduate and, you know, walk across the stage in my five seconds of glory as they read my name. Um, I was actually the first one of my major to actually go and walk and stuff, so that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so they were all there cheering and getting really excited. And then, you know, afterwards they all came back and we had some togos and it was amazing. And now I have leftovers for like a week. Um... And I have like half of a cake that I'm never going to eat that said congratulations, congratulations, Chris Finn, because apparently the lady who was doing the writing on the cake doesn't know how to spell. 
Not that it matters that you're going to eat it anyway. Um, but yeah. So yeah, they came back and of course they just like dig into the food. And then my uncle's like, booze! And he goes nuts and starts making drinks and so... It was good times. We had lots of alcohol. Although, oddly enough, we did not break into the champagne. I don't know. Honestly, I prefer mixed drinks. But, uh... I definitely will be, uh... Opening this up in the near future to celebrate. Maybe I'll save it for New Year's. Who knows? Kind of weird, though, watching Knocked Up with your parents and your aunts and uncles and your grandmother. Yeah. I think everyone was pretty, uh, liquored up at that point. No one was drunk. I was not drunk. No one was drunk. But everyone was feeling very lovey and funny and it was good times. Before I end this, I just want to do two things. Um, number one, look at my beautiful Christmas tree behind me. I'm so proud. I cut it down myself. I know, I'm like a lumberjack or something. But, um, yeah, I went to a Christmas tree farm with my friend Daniel, and we cut it down and shoved it in the back of his SUV, as opposed to last year where me and my friend Danielle, who's now my roommate, shoved a tree that we thought was five foot, but actually was six feet tall, into my Honda Accord. Um... Maybe a picture now at the ridiculousness? It was ridiculous and everyone thought we were probably some stupid girls and had no idea what we were doing. But it was good times and yeah, so I did it again less ridiculously this time, but that is my that is my beautiful tree. Number two, I think you should all listen to Non-Dairy Creamer by Third Eye Blind. I know, it'll bring you back to the 90s, it's amazing. Um, stupid title, kind of dorky, but it's good. I love the song. It makes no sense at times, but other times it makes a lot of sense, and it's semi-political, but come on, they have a whole sing-along of young gay Republicans. Come on, listen to it. I love that song. Um, it's probably my favorite song right now. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you, if I don't make a video before Christmas, I hope you all have a good Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. If not, just have a good break. And for all those that graduated in fall as well, congratulations. I feel ya. Let's all celebrate. Woo! Okay, that was really dumb. Let's not woo.